Hello guys, my voice is sounding crap, just so you know, I'm a bit sick I think. Um, today, or right now, I'm going to be doing a video about drones. If you don't like drones, just skip this video. <sighs> see ya. No, don't see ya. Let's get into it. Okay guys, this is the Hornet. Well, what's left of it anyway. One of... Cool fact, motors are magnetic. Um, so one of the motors wasn't working. So, one of these, yeah, it's this. It wasn't working, so I chopped it off. Um, I have a cardboard base to it currently. Uh, this is the camera. It's a very crap camera. Just so you know. Um, this is the circuitry and all that. I tried to take it apart, hoping I could, um, make a three propeller drone, which I doubt would work. It was kind of an experiment. Um, so, yeah, this is the controller. My dad stepped on it in the middle of the night, so that's why that's not there. It's a pretty cool controlling um, display. Seeing as it only cost 80 bucks, it's got your percentage of how much power, and the forwards, backwards, all that. There's some pretty cool features. You can flip, you can film, take photos. You can do quite a bit with it. Now, next is the the parrot mini drone parrot mambo actually so this one is it's a good drone it's okay it yeah it's okay it's got the cool accessories here it's got the grabber which yes it does work it's got the shooter which also, does work, um, except, unfortunately, I was flying it one time, and this motor here, the blade snapped in mid-air, I've got no idea why, but it did, and the motor hasn't been working since, and it's really disappointing. Um, I went onto Parrot's website and they said I have to get, go to the shop where I got it from. And yeah, that I it's all the way up in Noosa and I'm in Brisbane, so that's hard to do. Um yeah, it's logo compatible. Um I spent like twenty dollars on propellers and because I thought that was the problem, just the propeller snapped. That's twenty dollars worth of propellers right there, guys. Um, yeah, but obviously it wasn't. Anyway, moving on, the DJI Phantom Three standard. Can't you just tell? It looks. It's not. Doesn't look crap. You can just tell by looking at it. That thing did not cost cost two hundred dollars out of the toy shop. This thing cost eight hundred dollars from JB Hi-Fi. So <clears throat> it's a really sad story. I got it on Friday, last day of school. I was pumped for a holiday full of flying this great thing. Um I was testing it out in my backyard. And it had 20% left, so it did the automatic return to home feature. And shot up into the air, because I hadn't changed the altitude for return to home. And it crashed into a tree and fell in my pool. And, yeah... It's dead. You can you can look at this. It looks completely fine. And 
It looks completely fine, but looks can be deceiving. Right there is the problem. I don't know whether you can see the scorch marks right there and right there. Two bits of the circuit is fried and now none of the drone works. It won't even turn on. And <clears throat> that is really annoying. But I'm gonna buy another one. Just see give it give it a second chance. So guys, I reckon the best drone in the world that doesn't cost too much would have to be the Inspire 2. It's got like the best filming quality you could ever have on a drone that costs like two thousand dollars. It's got sensors everywhere. It's got actually two cameras on it. It's got the filming camera and then it's got the tap and go camera so you can see forwards while you're filming sideways. Um, the second best drone I'd say would have to be the Phantom 4 Pro. It's got good camera, 4K camera, sensors on the front, the bottom, possibly the sides, I'm actually not too sure. Um, top speed of 100, same as the Inspire. Uh, I reckon third best would be the Mavic Pro. The only reason is because the Mavic is really low to the ground. So if you're gonna if you're gonna take off in like some grass, it would be pretty hard because unlike the Phantoms and Inspires, the motors are up here and the landing gear's down here. So you got quite a bit of gr ground clearance. Um, uh, it's got sensors on the front. It's got sensors below it. It's got 27 minutes of battery life, same as all of them. They're all DJI, and you're probably wondering why. It's because DJI is the best. This is not a paid endorsement or anything. I just love DJI.